My name is Sarah. I am part of the University of California Davis Human Rights Studies program. My job is to help you understand how to use Backpack. The Article 26 Backpack was developed at UC Davis. It is a tool designed to help young people connect or reconnect with higher education and employment opportunities. It is named for the 26th article of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights that tells us that you and I and everyone else in the world has a human right to education. We developed this absolutely free and safe online service after listening to hundreds of refugee young people in places like Jordan, Lebanon, Turkey, Iraq, Greece, and here in California. Many of these young people had been in university before they left their countries and now need to go back to university so they can rebuild their lives and rebuild their communities. They told us that making sure that their important educational documents, diplomas, transcripts, professional certificates could not be lost or stolen was very important to them. They also told us that sometimes it was very difficult to get those documents from the countries they had left behind. With the support of UC Davis Global Affairs and the Ford Foundation, we created Backpack. It was tested first in Lebanon and California, where more than 1,000 young people are now backpackers, what we call people who use this tool. For these young people, they never have to worry again that their documents will be lost or stolen. At its core, Backpack works by giving you a way to protect your most important educational and training documents in a safe and secure way here at UC Davis. Documents like diplomas, transcripts, training certificates, and letters of recommendation. You can also store CVs, resumes, statements of purpose, and other items that you think are important to your educational journey. Backpack has one more important feature. You can use it to share your documents with those who can help you on your journey in a way that is safe and professional. If you are a young person over the age of 18 seeking to exercise your right to education, if you are concerned that your documents are not safe, and if you want the opportunity to better connect with education and other opportunities around the world, then you should use Backpack. And don't forget, Backpack is free and always will be. Before we start using this valuable online tool, let me tell you what Backpack is not. Backpack is not a scholarship though you may be able to use it in your application process. Backpack is not a university application, though you may be able to use it in that process too. Backpack cannot certify your documents, though it can help in that process too. As a backpacker, you have rights. The backpacker has the right to control and keep private the contents of the backpack. The backpacker has the right to share the contents of the backpack with any individual, agency, university, or organization that he or she chooses. The backpacker has the right to expect that the digital platforms, software, and data storage have significant safeguards against unauthorized access or hacking. The backpacker has the right to access the contents of their backpack regardless of location. The backpacker has the right to delete their backpack account at any time. In this short video, my UC Davis colleagues and I will show you how to use Backpack. Now, let's start the journey. Let's work together to open your backpack. This is my friend, Michaela. She will help as we demonstrate how to open and fill your backpack. Before you start, you will need three things. One, a device with a web browser, like Chrome or Safari. This could be a mobile phone, a tablet, a laptop computer, or even a desktop computer. As you may want to take pictures of your documents, you should have some kind of camera. Two, an internet connection. Backpack only works when connected to the internet. Three, a working email address. Make sure you know how to log into your account. Remember, Backpack is set up to use on any device with a browser. Here, we will use a laptop. Open your browser and go to backpack.ucdavis.edu. You will see Backpack's front page. Here, you will find information about Backpack and any updates. Click on Create Your Account. You will see the eligibility screen. Please answer the questions. Once you do so, a registration screen will appear. An email will now be sent to you. Go to your email. 
Open the email from Backpack. Now you are ready to log on to your backpack. When you first log on to Backpack, our privacy policy will appear. A privacy policy is where we explain to you what we do with the data that you enter about yourself into Backpack. Please read it carefully. Our privacy policy follows all relevant California and European digital privacy laws. More importantly, we never sell your data to anyone. And we do everything we can to protect your information from hackers. You have the same kinds of digital protections that we have as students at UC Davis. From time to time, we may send you an email or contact you about the ways you use Backpack to make it a better tool. Your data is much more secure on Backpack than it is on apps that you may use like Facebook or Instagram, and it is better organized and more accessible than Google Docs. If you agree with the privacy policy, click Agree and you'll be taken to this page. Now go to Map and click Profile. Enter your information here. You can use any alphabet that you wish. Only those items marked by a red star are required. You can also upload a photo of yourself. Congratulations, now your backpack is ready to use. Let's fill it. Now we're going to walk you through each of the sections and then show you how to upload your own document. Backpack is divided into two pouches. You can reach from the map page. Let's start with the education pouch. This time, Michaela will show you how to use backpack with an iPad. The education pouch is where you put information about your education and any relevant documents. Michaela has entered her information. You should enter information about all levels of education, including high school. You can also upload documents like PDFs directly from your device or computer. You should upload as much information as you can. Don't worry if you can't remember all dates exactly. Don't worry, worry whether your documents are official or unofficial. Upload even fragments. This will help experts reconstruct your educational history if needed. And remember, many people also choose to use their mobile phone to do this. Once you finish filling your education pouch, now go to your portfolio pouch. The portfolio pouch is where you put other kinds of documents, training certificates, creative works, and your My Story, My Future videos. Michaela has uploaded a copy of her CV and a training certificate. You can upload materials the same way that you uploaded materials in the education pouch. With the portfolio pouch, you have a chance to share evidence of your achievements and goals. We are all more than just our diplomas and our transcripts. Here is where you can show that fact. Another way to show who you are as a whole person is with a My Story, My Future video. It is important that you have the opportunity to share information about yourself that can help universities, scholarship agencies, employers, and others see you as more than just a name or a diploma. Instead, you want to show them that you are a complex and whole person. Here comes Casey. Casey and Michaela will show you how to make a My Story, My Future video. Before you start, think of some experiences or goals you'd like to share. You should start with your name and your latest educational experience. Here are some questions you might want to practice. What did you study and why? What are some of the barriers to education or employment you have faced? What are your educational or professional goals? How will you use your education or employment to help your family, community, or country? Once you have finished practicing, record yourself or have someone else record you, sharing your story and upload to YouTube or Vimeo. For your protection, mark the video as unlisted. Here are some basic tips to help you. Film on a simple background. Ensure you have decent lighting. Answer in complete sentences. Have a quiet, distraction-free environment. Film horizontally. Relax, have fun, and be yourself. Let's watch a short clip of Casey's My Story, My Future video. My name is Casey. I'm graduating UC Davis with a major in international relations and a minor in human rights. I chose to do human rights at UC Davis because 
His classes are very interesting and important. With this degree, I hope to one day work at the United Nations High Commission of Human Rights, or UNESCO. You can even upload two videos. We suggest you do one in your native language, and if you speak another language, do that too. Now that you have begun to fill your backpack, you can share its contents with a university or employer. In the next section, we show you how. Go to Share Backpacks and click Add New Shared Backpack. Enter a name for the shared backpack, and then the email address of the person with whom you are sharing. If you want to add more email addresses, click Add Another Item. Now you can decide to share all of the contents by clicking Toggle On or Select Items. In this case, Michaela will share all the contents of her backpack with Casey. When you are ready, click Save and Send. Your backpack will save a version of your backpack and a link will be sent to the address that you specified. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Casey will open her email and all of the languages of backpack will appear in the text of the email. In the email is a special one-time only link that will connect Casey to a page that will ask her to enter her email address. When she enters her email, she will be able to see the contents of Michaela's backpack. In an added safety feature, the link will expire in seven days. Remember, the addressee will only have access to those documents or information that you would like to share. You can practice using this feature by sending your backpack to yourself. The motto of backpack is Hope is good, a plan is better. By providing you with a safe and secure method to store and share your educational documents, transcripts, and even videos and creative works, Backpack is a tool to help others understand who you are as a person and not just by a name or a number. Backpack will be there for you along your journey, and as we add elements and partners, we will let you know. What you store in Backpack will never be lost or stolen. Backpack will be there for you no matter where you are located in the world and it's just a few clicks on your laptop or taps on your phone to get it. Please share a backpack with your family, friends, and classmates. And now that you know how to use it, you can help them too. Education is your right as a human being. Backpack will be there for you. Begin, Begin your, your journey. journey.